Hey, what is going on, guys? I am Granddaddy Gamer, and today we are back in Subnautica, but this time we have a guide for you guys. All right, this guide is brought to you by Little Kitten, who is looking for the battery charger fragments and requested this video. So, first of all, in this particular playthrough, I have not gotten the fragments yet, which is amazing because I'm pretty far into it. Now, you need to find the zero point, so whether you're on console or PC, it does not matter at all. All you want to do is find this coral tube. You're going to be able to see it. It's going to stick out of the water. There's going to be another one that's barely sticking out of the water, but this one is distinguishable because when you go down, you're going to see this curve and you're going to follow the curve from the end and you're going to follow right down into this little valley right here and that's where all the guides that I do for Subnautica will start because it's a fixed location it's in the safe shallows and it's going to be easy okay so for this one we're going to go south and we're going into the grassy plateaus now for this particular wreck I have never seen them spawn outside of the wreck. That doesn't mean that they don't. I just particularly have never encountered it. They have spawned inside the wreck for me. And we're going to follow it south all the way down. Not that wreck. We're going to go a little bit farther down. Now, if you guys have an issue with the wrecks and you get disoriented, first of all, you are not alone. There's a lot of us right there is the wreck we're looking for that do the same. Stay tuned at the end of this guide because I will have a useful tip for you to help you ne negotiate wrecks, large wrecks, underwater caves. It's a perfect tip. Um, I think it's an underused tool that a lot of players in Subnautica do not use and it's actually very useful. All right. So down in here. Let's look around. Ultra glide fins. Right here is one fragment. I actually need it. There we go. Uh, we're not going to scan all this. There is propulsion cannon. There's another piece of the battery charger right here. But there's a second wreck that we're going to go to. Um, you will need, more than likely, you're going to need your uh, suit, your radiation suit. There's another piece right there. That's three. You really want to kind of look in here. I'm purposely wasting my oxygen down because there's another tip I want to show you. Now, for this particular door, if you don't have a laser cutter, don't even worry about it. Go right in here. It's literally going to wrap you around. So here you go. I'm down to 20 seconds. I'm in a wreck. Here's a guide for you. Another oxygen tank. There's another piece right there. And sometimes... There's a piece, yep, right there. There's one right there. So that's four pieces. Okay, so now we're going to go back. There we go. And up. And where are we parked? Right here. Yep, that's one little tip. Now, I did use this particular um, within the series for Season 2. So we're going to go back to start, and I will catch you guys when we get back. All right, so now we're back at our starting location. For the next wreck, we're going to go just one click of the compass to the right of northeast. We're going to follow it down. This is a big wreck. So make sure you stay tuned. If you have a lot of trouble with wrecks, Make sure you check out the, the useful tip that I have at the end of this video. 
I think it'll help you a lot. Now this wreck is right next to Life Pod 6. You can see it right in front of me. As you can see, it's literally right next to Life Pod 6. This is a very big wreck with a lot of twists and turns. So just be careful, bring a backup tank. Um, one of the other tips, or any other tips that you might have. Now we're going to go inside. Let's see what we got in here. This is scannable. I might as well scan it. There we go. <clears throat> Not going to do that. We're going to go this way. All right, so there's a locked door. We're going to cut this open. Um, maybe we're not going to. I think I dropped my laser cutter in the last wreck. Holy smokes. All right, well, let's go the other way. Let's get some oxygen. Make sure that this is good. I'm really good for hitting the wrong button on the mouse and dropping my stuff on the bottom of the seafloor. No, that's not it. So yes, uh, we actually need the laser cutter. Behind that door and down the elevator shaft is a room halfway down. Um, I actually have, I will link a playthrough through this, but in that playthrough there was no fragments there, but there is generally a lot of fragments there. Alright guys, those are just two wrecks off the top of my head. Um, there is also one more spot that I'd like you guys to check. So when we get back to start point, I will see you guys. All right. So now we are back at start. And there's one more location I want to show you guys. And that's the Jelly Shroom Caves. It's specifically one particular entrance. Now there's more than one entrance to this, the Jelly Shroom Caves. Because it's actually quite large. Um, but there's one location that I go to every single time and I will scour the seafloor for this one entrance because when you drop down, the Degassi base is right there. And it makes it so much easier to get all the goodies that's in the Degassi base for me. Even if, like now, I'm only to 200 meter depth, which you guys need to know is pretty much the top of the ceiling of this cave so we want to go southeast and south right in the middle I know I have it marked that's so I can always remember where it is do I have any fluid I don't I'm just going to keep following. Eventually it's going to drop. Just like this. And it's at the base. Okay? You're going to see this shape right here. We're going to go right down in here. This is my number one location always. Because you can see the Degassi base right there. Now there are crabs, crab snakes in the area. So you guys be careful. Down in here. Let's just do this. Just for the purpose of this guide. Yeah, there he is. 
And you're going to find stuff all along here. Nuclear reactor. Stasis rifle. Crab snakes. I'm not going to lie, I jumped out of my skin. Leave me alone. Thermal plant. You're going to find the multi-purpose room, scannable. Uh, let's just go in. Watch these things. They will poison and kill you. There's the uh, water treatment plant. Just like that. This is just for the purpose of the guide. There's a bed. Uh, there is, I've been here already. There is a uh, data box right here. Alright guys. That's it. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned at the end of this. I'm going to give you a useful tip for negotiating underwater caves and big wrecks. If you found this guide useful or helpful in any way, perhaps consider hitting a thumbs up. Maybe check out some of the other guides and the other content on the channel. And as always, I am Granddaddy Gamer, and I will catch you guys in the next. All right, guys, so this is a quick tip for all you wreck explorers. You have trouble, uh, you get turned around while you're in the wreck, and we're going to do it on this one right here because it's actually kind of a big wreck and there's some multi-levels. Now, first of all, we all get turned around, so don't feel bad. What I do is I use the Pathfinder tool, right? So right here, we shoot it out. And that's going to tell me my start location. So now let's say we're going down this way. We're here. Shoot this. See that arrow? It's going to tell me which way to go. All right? And we're going to come this way. We want to go down here. Oh, there's a door right here. Okay. Come in here. We're looking around for fragments. You know, we find some, we don't find some. But we want to get out. Right here, look at this. It tells me. Up. Oh, there's another arrow. Now you can collect these as you go. I can't right now, but... And there you go. That's my tip. If you have a lot of problems with wrecks, use the Pathfinder tool. That's what it's there for. I know I am guilty of not using it enough. It's easy to build in your fabricator. Check it out.